I'm Scott Keeney, CEO and co-founder of Enlight, a semiconductor and fiber laser manufacturer. We founded Enlight 18 years ago with the vision that semiconductor lasers would improve at an exponential rate, similar to Moore's Law, and open up new markets as lasers displaced legacy technologies. Over the past almost two decades, our team has been dedicated to this vision. We founded Enlight with the conception that semiconductor lasers would scale power by combining multiple single emitters. In fact, the N in our name stands for integer. We're a little nerdy. Today, we have a deep, vertically integrated technology base supported by over 200 patents, and indeed, we're seeing markets multiply. Our revenue has grown consistently and rapidly, over 30% compound annual growth rate over the last four years, while our industry has grown about 20% a year. Cutting metal is just one of the many applications that we enable with our lasers. These are videos of multi-kilowatt lasers cutting both quickly and with great precision. It is noteworthy that these examples are applications that were not addressable when we started in light. But as semiconductor and fiber lasers have improved in both performance and cost, we've exploited these trends in applications where laser photons can be used to precisely transfer energy and cut metal. It is still remarkable to see how a laser light source can cut through over one inch thick metal. In order to produce these photons, we begin with the gallium arsenide chip. This is a core technology that we started the company with almost two decades ago. From this chip, we then integrate into our patented fiber coupled packages. We are also vertically integrated into the raw materials for our own optical fiber. And finally, this is all integrated into our fiber lasers. We are one of the few companies with complete vertical integration. This integration allows us to both control our technology and our cost. In order to explain this technology further, I want to use an example of one of our fiber lasers, a three kilowatt fiber laser. There are two key technologies. First, the fiber. The optical fiber is doped and provides the gain for the fiber laser. The second key technology is our semiconductor laser. This rack shows a number of our fiber coupled packages that produce the energy that drive our fiber laser. We couple many single emitter semiconductor laser chips together through precise optics and couple this light into a fiber. We couple over 250 watts into a 100 micron fiber, roughly a diameter of the human hair. Each one of these chips then are specially designed for these fiber coupled packages. Electrons drive this energy and this chip provides the cavity for the photons to be coupled into the fiber. Each one of these chips can produce up to 18 watts of power. And this five millimeter piece of gallium arsenide is the heart and soul of what we do at Enlight. Semiconductor lasers are small, efficient, and cost effective. And when combined into fiber, they produce very bright laser light that can, can be used in a wide range of applications. Our brand promise reflects our focus. First, we are striving to simplify lasers so that they can be practically deployed in a wide range of applications. In the past, lasers were made by scientists for scientists. We are focused on ensuring our lasers can be used in a wide range of manufacturing environments. Second, we focus on making brilliant lasers. And brilliant is a technical figure of merit that describes how many photons you can get into a small spot, how much power can be focused. The brilliance of semiconductor lasers has improved dramatically over time. In the 1980s, a semiconductor laser coupled less than one watt into 100 micron fiber. Today, Enlight leads the industry with over 250 watts into the same 100 micron fiber. These are not incremental improvements. We are driving the industry at exponential rates, comparable to Moore's Law. And if you look at Moore's Law in terms of dollars per transistor, it has shown improvements of over a factor of 10 every decade since Gordon Moore first speculated in a paper in 1965. We are on a comparable exponential improvement curve roughly a factor of 10 every decade, with rapid improvements in performance, bright watts, and continued cost improvements. In the microprocessor market, photolithography has driven higher density features, which has enabled new applications over the last 20 years. Similarly, advancement in laser technology has driven a broad range of markets in a similar virtuous cycle. It took over two decades to develop the basic technology for semiconductor lasers after it was first demonstrated in a lab at GE in 1962. In the 1980s, companies like SDL led the industry, but the end markets were relatively small. You could only use a laser if you really had to use a laser. Then the telecom markets were enabled by semiconductor lasers for amplifiers. Massive investments drove numerous technology advancements. Finally, over the last decade, price performance improvements have enabled new markets. Today, the semiconductor laser is truly driving a new market as laser is becoming a ubiquitous tool. These improvements in technology have helped drive the rapid growth in the overall laser market, which today is over $10 billion. And the high power laser portion of that market is being driven by semiconductor and fiber lasers, which are over $2 billion today, 
and growing at a 20% compound annual growth rate and expected to be over $4 billion by 2020. There are a broad range of applications that we serve today. Our lasers are changing the way that things are made. But even more important, our lasers are changing the things that can be made. There are many applications that simply didn't exist when we started the company. Semiconductor and fiber lasers are truly a disruptive technology, an exponentially improving technology that will continue to impact many different sectors of the economy. Endline is a technology leader in our industry, and we have a roadmap to continue to drive this exponential improvement. As we do this, we believe applications will continue to expand. To explain our technology and products further, I'd like to introduce Rob Martinson, our CTO. My name is Robert Martinson. I've been making lasers for over 25 years. When I joined Enlight 14 years ago, I recognized an extraordinary team. A team that takes new approaches to tackling unsolved problems. We do that through the lens of simplicity and brilliance. Lasers are based on quantum physics, so they're complicated. And this has limited their adoption in the past. At Enlight, we've taken a platform approach to drive simplicity in the lasers that we design, and I will talk about that further. But the core principle that ties our product platforms together is the notion of brilliance, the ability to focus lots of photons into a small spot. And when that happens, you can do amazing things with light. And in many cases, with better economics, faster processes, and better results than with any other tool. To be in the business of making fiber lasers, you must be vertically integrated. It's foundational for driving differentiation and cost. We've always held a strong conviction that the best components make the best lasers. At Enlight, these components need to have unmatched performance and have a simple embodiment. This philosophy of simplicity allows us to make the highest performance lasers that are easy to use, they're low in cost, and they have a long service life. Our investment in semiconductor and fiber laser innovation has resulted in over 200 patents and thousands of trade secrets. In summary, we developed a distinctive platform rooted in the notion that simplicity and brilliance will serve our customers well in addressing many applications. We started with cutting and welding, then additive manufacturing, marking, engraving, surgical devices, and most recently directed energy. Curiously, these applications are not just additive, they multiply. In fact, what we're finding is that when we make lasers simple, easy, and intuitive to use, people are inclined to use them for applications we haven't considered before. The result is exactly what we're witnessing, a fourth industrial revolution where the proliferation of new applications are allowing people to create new things. That's why we're committed to a platform approach guided by simplicity and brilliance.